Beautiful people, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We have some things to talk about. So if you decide to click on this video, let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Keep in mind this reading may not resonate with you. Take what feels right, leave what doesn't. Also, I won't ever reach out to you to ask you for money or to ask you for readings. Please do not get scammed. I don't do personal readings at this time. So we're going to go over some channel messages that I have. Um, and I'm just downloading for you right now. I'm just channeling. So let's go. First thing I was getting is that you're going to gain your appetite back, especially if you have been feeling a little like you didn't have an appetite recently, or you maybe have been feeling a little bit like nauseous when you think of food. Maybe you just haven't been eating a lot or haven't been wanting to eat a lot. You are going to gain your appetite back. And I'm also getting that you're going to be gaining money. There's something about you getting hungrier and there's more money coming your way as well. And then I also was gaining something about you going to the bathroom a lot. Um, so I'm getting that some of you are drinking a lot of water. I've been drinking a lot of like water with lemon, water with lime, water, agua con limon. And maybe you want to do that too, or maybe you're doing that as well. But I am getting something about a lot of trips to the bathroom. This is good because you're like cleansing out your body. You're purifying your body, which is also purifying you, your spiritual body as well. Okay. And then I was also told that for some of you, you're allowed to do the things that you wanted to do in the past that you wouldn't allow yourself to do. You're allowed to do them now. And I was also getting that you don't need permission from anyone. The only one you need permission from is you. I also feel like we need a little bit of a cleanse right now. So let me get my incense out. This is a throat chakra incense. It's patchouli from Himalayan chakra. It looks like this. I found it at a spiritual shop. I think I found it at Follow Your Heart when I was living in LA. Anyway, I felt like we needed to cleanse. There's a lot of channel messages here. Maybe you're working on your throat chakra. Maybe you're working on speaking up for yourself more or just speaking more. It's currently Gemini season in Western astrology, which definitely has us speaking more, thinking more, all of that type of energy. So if you want to work with the color blue, this will help you with your throat chakra. Okay. But I'm getting that you are allowed to do the things that you wouldn't allow yourself to do anymore. And the only one who needs to give you permission is you. You don't need permission from a family member. You don't need permission from a job. You don't need permission from a partner. You don't need permission from a friend. You don't need permission from anyone but yourself, okay? I was also hearing that some of you are starting a TikTok or some of you are starting like some kind of social media platform or something like that. And it's what you're being called to do. And they're asking you to ignore the hate comments because a lot of TikTok, if it is TikTok especially, a lot of TikTok is teenagers. And you may not know that because you're just seeing the message, you're just seeing the, the no profile picture or whatever. And it's like, some of you are speaking about adult concepts and you're speaking about adult topics and you're speaking from experience. Please do not take what these children, what these teenagers are saying personally because how can they speak on something they have no experience on, right? They are only seeing what you're saying and they're only seeing it from their point of view and they're like, no, that's wrong. No, that's this. And they're very opinionated right now. And that's okay. That is okay. I'm actually very proud of them for expressing themselves. So we should allow them to express themselves, but also don't take it personally. Okay. I was also hearing that everybody has an opinion, but also everybody has an asshole. We don't care about everybody's asshole. So why would we care about everybody's opinion? Let that sink in. Okay. Those are your channel messages. Let's see what's coming out in the cards for you. For the collective. This is for anybody and everybody who decided to click on this video today. Let's see. I've been using these cards, the Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle Cards by Shannon Kaiser. This part of the video is not sponsored and I was not asked to talk about them, but I found them in my collection. I'm currently living out of my car and I found them in my car in my tarot bag and I was like, I need to bring these out. So that's the deck we're using today and I feel really aligned to it today. Maybe you have it or maybe you want to pick it up. Some of you might be looking for an oracle card recommendation. I like these today, so feel free to check them out. Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle Cards. Your card is the number 10, which is beautiful because 10s represent completion. So maybe you're seeing 10, 10. Something is over. Something is complete and something is done. The hard part of a situation is over. Whenever you see the number 10, 10, the hard part of a situation is over. This card says out of the woods, you've made it through. And it asks us what newness is emerging. So that's what Spirit wants to talk about today. And I'm also getting that one is enough. Like one card is enough. So that could be a message to keep something simple. 444 four, four could also be significant. To keep it at one thing at a time. Something like that. One step at a time. One thing at a time. One thought at a time. One action at a time. One situation at a time. Like 
I'm seeing some of you are trying to like juggle a lot of things and spirits asking you to focus on one thing at a time and that you are out of the woods surrounding a tough situation from the past. So congratulations, I'm very happy for you. You have made it through. Some of you may really like Taylor Swift or your name could be Taylor. I'm hearing that song. Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? I think that's Taylor Swift, right? Some of you could have a Cancer Moon. Let's find out. I want to tap into what you just made it out of so that way you can help feel deeply connected to this reading. It's not that I want to dive into your past to make you relive it. It's just that sometimes understanding the past helps us to understand the present and helps us to manifest and create for the future. So that is all that we are doing. I want to see what you just made it through. What did you just complete? Spirit, can you tell me what did they just complete? Ooh, Ten of Cups in the reverse. You just completed self-love. 555 five, five on the timer too and you just completed trusting yourself there's been this thing where you have been struggling to trust others because you've been struggling to trust yourself and you've worked through that now you trust yourself and now you can trust others spirit is saying it's okay to trust others it's okay to trust some of these opportunities coming your way it's okay to trust your intuition and it's okay to trust your discernment wow we're gonna get back to this in a second but i this is also 10 10 there's a lot going on here in this reading this is 10, 10 energy. I just received an email right before doing this reading from a talent scout who I guess has emailed me three times now. And the only email I saw was the email I was meant to see. And the email said, I've reached out to a few times now. I'd appreciate if I heard back from you. And I responded by saying, hi, I don't like your energy. No, thank you. I will not be working with you. Take care. Wishing you all the best. Chan. And I was meant to see that message, only that last message. The first message was them giving me all of their information, telling me what they do, telling me why they were interested in me. The second one was just a follow-up, and I did never see either of those emails. And then the third one revealed their true colors to me. So that's a message for some of you, too. Some of these people are revealing their true colors to you, and some things are not going the way that you're thinking that they deserve to go because someone hasn't revealed their true colors to you yet. But with the 1010 energy, somebody is revealing their true colors. I've also been tapping into someone is cheating and I don't love being this person, but I don't know how else to get do with this other than to deliver the message. And I tried to deliver it on a TikTok video and I didn't like the way that I recorded it. So I deleted it. So I'm just going to deliver it here. Maybe it's meant to be here. Somebody is cheating and it's somebody you know is cheating. For some of you, it's not you who's being cheated on. Although for some of you, you have been suspicious of your partner. Are they cheating on me? The answer is yes. And you already know that. Some of you are packing your bags as we speak. You've been packing your bags, okay? The thing is here is that some people know that other people are being cheated on and they don't know what to do about it, myself included. That's why I'm delivering this message now. And I'm getting that sometimes it's like the friends know that people are cheating. Yeah, I just feel like cheaters are being exposed right now. The third party is being removed or the third party is like removing itself. I'm getting that this cheater isn't going to end up with either of you or this cheater isn't going to end up with either person. I feel like the two people who are being cheated on don't actually know about each other. But I do see that there is some kind of cheating here and it's coming to an end. The universe is saying that cheating has come to an end. This may be something you went through in the past. Maybe you were cheated on. You will not be cheated on again ever in this lifetime. Ever. You went through it once. You healed from it. You will never have to experience it again. You are allowed to trust love. But the thing is you have to give yourself permission to trust love coming in. You have to trust yourself to trust the people who are coming in too. And you've worked on your self-trust. You've really, really done that. So now it's okay for you to allow other people into your life to trust them. All right, that's what I'm channeling. Let's keep it moving. I don't wanna sit in one energy for too long today. Let's keep it moving. We have the sun. I think that that's a message from spirit too. They don't want you to sit in one energy for too long either. Some of you may be feeling this emotional spectrum and I have been feeling it too, where you're like having a really good day and then something brings you down or you just, your energy shifts and like you're upset for no reason and you're feeling emotional for no reason and you can't make sense of it and you can't explain it, but you're feeling it. So just go with it, go with the flow right now. Let yourself feel your feelings. Let yourself go through this emotional spectrum. Yeah. Let me get a drink of water. Because what they're telling me is that by you going through this emotional spectrum, you are healing yourself. And when you heal yourself, you're healing your lineage. You're healing your ancestors. You're healing the people who are closest to you. Everybody's healing because of you. Everybody is healing because of me. That's a confirmation. That's an affirmation you can use. Everybody is healing because of me. Everybody is healing because I am healing. When I am healthy, everybody else is healthy. 
if you're looking for a yes or no answer on a situation too, like say even asking the divine to give you an answer, yes or no, the answer is yes. And for a lot of you, I feel like it has to do with this new perspective or this new idea you have. You're like, should I follow that path? The answer is yes. If it involves moving, if it involves leaving a job, creating a new job for yourself, if it involves some kind of creation, the answer to that is yes. You're going the right direction. You've made it out of the woods. You don't have to go back. You don't have to go back at all, ever. You don't have to go back to poor love. You don't have to go back to anything that's poor. I channeled that today too. I saw the poverty coffin in my Kipper deck today. And Spirit told me that the poverty is over, that the lack is done. For me, for Sam, for anybody who's connected to me and for anybody who resonates with that, the poverty is done. The poverty is over. The lack is complete. And this 10-10 energy that we're seeing on the table also confirms that to me. You are out of the woods and you have made it through. Congratulations. It's giving like graduation energy. You've graduated. You are graduating. And I'm getting that you're making good decisions for yourself, so trust yourself to continue to make good decisions for yourself. There is a lot of newness coming your way. We're gonna find out what that is now. What is this newness that is emerging into the collective life, please? I feel like it's a new voice because my throat has been so messed up during this reading and we also talked about it and we have the throat chakra incense going so i really feel like for some of you the newness that's emerging is this new voice this new confidence in your voice this new clarity in your voice this new power in your voice that when you speak everybody listens that when you speak time stands still that when you sing you attract a crowd there's something about the power of your voice. That's part of this new energy that's coming into your life. And I'm getting that you are using your voice to speak up for yourself and you're using your voice to speak up for others and other people are doing the same. You're inspiring others to speak up. You're inspiring others to be opinionated. There's nothing wrong with having an opinion. We all have one, right? It's just that we don't have to care about everybody's opinion. And I do think that everybody should be able to have free speech and speak up for themselves. So that's what you are inspiring others to do. And that's what's happening for you. So there's like a new voice. For some of you, it is your singing voice because you want to be a singer. You think that you should be a singer. You feel like you're supposed to be a singer, but you've been scared about it. You have been thinking you weren't good enough. Maybe people told you you weren't good enough in the past. Maybe people were mean to you about it, and so you shut down. And now Spirit's saying that you have a new voice. You have a newfound confidence. You should trust in yourself. You should trust in your guides. Don't listen to the people who are naysaying. They're only saying that because they don't think that they can do it for themselves, because they don't believe in themselves, that if they were in your shoes, that they could do it for themselves, because they can't. That's a belief that they have for themselves. If you believe that you can't, you won't. But if you believe that you can, you will. And there's something here about your new voice. And I'm getting like new mindset too. Your self-concept has shifted. You believe that anything is possible now and you are making the impossible possible. Period. I'm so excited for you. This energy feels so lit and so intense and so powerful and so strong. And this is literally how the divine is describing you. You are lit. You are powerful. You are strong. You are trustworthy. You are successful. You are inspirational. You are a light in this dark world. A hundred percent. You scored 100%. <laughs> I love it because some of you felt like throughout this, throughout this testing that you have been through in life, you have felt like you've been messing things up. You've been feeling like you've put, been putting the wrong pieces in the wrong puzzle place. You've been feeling like you've been making mistakes. And Spirit is saying you still get 100% no matter what mistakes you make. Some of these rules do not apply to you. Some of these limitations do not apply to you. You are still getting 100%. The universe is still giving you a 100% on a job well done because you passed the test anyway and i'm also getting that part of the test was making mistakes nobody's perfect the divine doesn't expect you to be perfect and the divine doesn't want you to expect yourself to be perfect so you didn't have to be perfect to get a hundred percent does this make sense you didn't have to be perfect to get a hundred percent you ended up getting a hundred percent by not being perfect by making the mistake i really hope that this is clicking and making sense it's like I love, I love, I love my job. Like, I love you guys. I love my job. I love what I'm doing. I just hope that this is coming through. And it is. Look at this newness emerging into your life. And it's going to happen in multiples. I'm getting, like, new opportunities coming in threes. Like, waves of threes. I got three cards out here. And I didn't really want to look at them. But I'm seeing them. And they look really good. Okay. So I'm getting, like, threes. Something about three, 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 or things coming into you, coming into your life in threes. And I'm also getting that three is the magic number for you. All right, so you have a new journey starting for you. You already know about this. We've been picking up on it. Here's the 10 of pentacles, new money. 
And 10, 10, 10 is in your reading as well, so love that. 10 of Pentacles represents money for some of you, and for others of you, it could represent an addition. So some of you, there's like an addition to your life, um, a person or a home or something that you can touch tangibly feel something like that because it's the ten of pentacles which is a material item so there's materials coming your way resources coming your way money coming your way and i'm getting like lots of money the ten of pentacles is like a large sum of money or multiple large sums of money so i love that congratulations for you we're also seeing the ace of wands as part of your newness which is further confirmation that there are new beginnings emerging for you this to me is giving um new body new goals new ideas for some of you, it's like your fitness goals, you're reaching them, you're having fitness results, you're changing up your hair, you're loving your hair, your skin is clearing up, you're loving your skin, you're getting your nails done, you're loving your nails, you're getting clothing, you're loving the clothes that you're buying. I'm getting like this whole new you. There's this new version of you that is emerging and it's the best version of you that is emerging, which is so beautiful. I'm also getting that some of you may be working out more and focusing more on your health, focusing more on working out, exercise, going for walks, going for runs, swimming, playing volleyball, football, whatever. A lot more of that. And there's new ideas coming in here. I'm also seeing a new home for some of you. Spirit was highlighting this little home to me on this card. You see that right there? There's a new home for some of you. This to me is giving like keys and you're going to have like new tools for your home. So maybe some of you are getting like new utensils, new cookware, new furniture, all of like all of that. It's going to be in your new home. Okay. And then we're seeing the magician card as well. This is all about new tricks coming your way, new ideas for you to make money, new ideas for you to express yourself, new ways for you to show yourself off, new magic tricks. I'm getting that some of you are going to learn more about astrology, some of you are going to learn more about tarot, some of you are going to learn more about your own spiritual gifts, some of you are going to be having performances, giving concerts, or going to concerts. All types of things. There's so many new things coming into your life that I could sit here for like an hour and just be like, this is a new thing that's coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is a new thing that's coming in. This is a new thing that's coming in. This is a new thing that's coming in. It's just, it's so much. But I know that a lot of you have been manifesting this newness and it's basically, Spirit is saying to me, whatever you've been manifesting that you know will make you happy, that you know is on the other side of this cycle that you have just completed is what is manifesting. It's what you've been desiring. It's what you've been working towards. It's what you've been focused on. And so it will manifest. It is manifesting. I'm going to get one last card to wrap this message up for you guys. <sighs> I just saw the great fortune card i'm getting that some of you are going to leave a name for yourself some of you are the family name is what i just heard i heard this bretman rock video the other day i'm like channeling it um and bretman was just like talking and he was talking about how one of the things that his brother does that annoys him is like he's his brother says something to him like aren't you worried about our family name like aren't you worried about being who you are online and it affecting our family name and bretman's like what like, what are you talking about? I am the family name, bitch. What? And so that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Bretman was like, who knows us? Who knows you? Who knows us? Bretman's like, I am the family name. So that's what I'm getting. You are the family name. You are becoming the family name. You are leaving a name for yourself and for your family. Period. Last card for the collective. How do you want to end this, please, Spirit? 711. Look at this. A message of sudden wealth. 7-Eleven could be significant. I'm also hearing that song by Beyonce. 7-Eleven by Beyonce could be significant, or the number 7-Eleven is going to be significant. I'm also getting 11-7, so November 7th or July 11th could also be significant. But this card says, a message of sudden wealth. Period. I don't even know what else to say. Look forward to it. And I'm also getting that you made the right decision denying somebody. You made the right choice trusting your intuition because somebody was trying to just steal money from you and somebody was just trying to use your name to make money for themselves and for their family and they were never going to give you the credit and never going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. You avoided a scam. A hundred percent. Period. I'm getting that you were always supposed to make something of yourself. Not the other way around. Not somebody else supposed to make something of you. You were always supposed to make something of yourself, and so you will, and so you are, and that is it. You are out of the woods. You've made it through. I love you so much. I hope that this video helped you and found you when you needed it most. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated, and I will catch you in the next one.